My name is Ahmed Bishr. I'm from Samsung Institute, R&D Institute of Jordan. It's a research and development center, especially for Samsung. Uh, I'll be with you today. We're, we're going to be talking about the Tizen operating system. I'm sure most of you have heard of it, but we'll give it a, a very formal introduction today. Um, so like I said, I'm Ahmed Bishr. I'm a senior software engineer in SRJO. Uh, I'm the pro project lead of what we call Tizen Development and Cooperation um, Project in uh, MENA. So we cover, we cover the Middle East and uh, North of Africa, the extended Middle East. We, we go all the way to Pakistan. Um, I have a master's degree in computer science and I've been like about 17, 16 plus 17 years in the field. Uh, also with me is Mr. Ali Azyud. Mr. Ali has a bachelor's degree in computer engineering and uh, he has been uh, in the field for uh, plus seven years. We're going to be with you today in three sessions. Uh, we have the Tizen session, the operating system. Then we're going to have an introduction or a very technical, let's say, introduction to the web Tizen APIs. And then after that, we're also going to talk about the Gear S2 programming, very specific. We're going to go into very lots of details. So I hope you're, you're all with us. Whoever wants to start developing for the Gear S2, um, please stay with us for these three sessions. Inshallah, you, you will be able to, uh, to, to uh, participate in the hackathon, the Gear S2 hackathon. Today we're going to talk about Tizen, which is being marketed as the OS of everything. وانا حابب ركز على موضوع الاي او تي اكيد كلياتكم عندكم فكره على الاي او تي بس مشان اضمن انه الكل على نفس ال يعني على نفس الفهم اللي اللي نحن بدنا نناقش فيه فراح راح اعمل مقدمه سريعه جدا عن الاي او تي اوكي ذا فيرست ثينج اي وونت توك اباوت از سامسونج فيجن 2020 افتر 5 ييرز مستر بي كي يون بي سي اي اس 2016 هي سيد ذس and five years from now, every single piece of Samsung hardware will be an IoT device. Whether it's a purifier, air purifier, or an oven, طبعاً, lots of other Samsung devices, like um, the mobile devices, wearables, uh, refrigerators now, قريباً, uh, washing machines, TVs, كل هاتهم يعني فيهم IoT capabilities. بس الوعد هو إنه after five years, every single device will be an IoT device. So, a quick, very quick introduction to IoT. Like I said, let's start with everyone's on the internet. First, we had our information was on the internet. Searching, Google, right? Yahoo, whoever remembers uh, the older search engines before, before Google took over everything. So, um, we put our information on the internet. After that, we took all our social interactions to the internet. So we have Facebook, we have Google+, whoever uses that. We have Twitter, right? So all our social interactions are on the internet. Now, whoever does not have a social presence, يلي مالو عنده صفحة فيسبوك أو ما بيستعملها كتير, صار anti-social. ما حناقش موضوع ليش إذا واحد قاعد ورا جهاز هو social واللي مش ما عنده صفحة فيسبوك مثلا anti-social, but this is the truth. So um, now our social interactions are on the internet. So, what's next? Our logic, our applications, uh, our services became on the internet. The internet saw who a utility. The cloud computing is known. And I just plug in and I start using the networking, um, software as a service, platforms as a service. Things like uh, storages, um, using Amazon to do whatever else I want. I could just rent the CPUs and RAM and so on. And then even the applications I have on the internet. So the truth is now, what's next? What's next is the internet of things. We're going to take our physical, physical uh, devices and put them on the internet also. It's not just going to be connecting the physical device to the internet. It's not just that... Um, Yes, my, uh, I don't know, my watch, Fio 3G, uh, uh, wireless. No, it's a bit more than that. So the three basic things we need for IoT is a sensor, any kind of sensor we have, because our physical devices, they need to sense things, so we have sensors. 
we're going to be a need to ha give them unique IDs. Shan Arif, and this microphone is uh, a device connected to the internet, but this is this microphone. It's not just any microphone. We could do this by using RFIDs. We could do this by giving them unique uh, IPs using IP version six. And of course, they're going to be. Ne we need to connect them to the internet. So we take the the basic idea behind IoT is that we're going to take normal devices, I mean uh, objects, chairs, cars, washing machines, refrigerators, and we're going to give them IDs and connect them, right? And then make sure that they can sense the things around them. So usually what, what happens is that we go through quick scenarios. I'm sure all of you have heard of lots of IoT scenarios, so I'm really going to go through these quickly. If anybody wants me to um, explain more, please raise your hand. You can uh, interrupt me whenever you like. So. Let's imagine an IoT chair. I'm going to take a chair, I'm going to give it a sensor, and I'm going to connect it to the internet. The chairs that you're sitting on now, right? The first thing I can do is have attendance. I can make sure if I'm in a classroom that the chairs that are occupied, the next thing, I can have the chair interact with the person sitting on it to read his ID. So if I know who's on the chair, I could adjust the chair to his medical preferences. I have a back problem. Okay, so the, the chairs have sensors in them. They can, I don't know, raise themselves a little bit, uh, so provide lumbar support, right? They have to be expensive chairs, but that's beyond the idea. Let's take another idea. IoT streets. Now, the first thing people think about, yes, cars, we give them sensors, we connect them to the internet. Big deal. This has been done 10 years ago. Um, we can have intelligent traffic lights. But also the light would be intelligent enough to tell me that someone else is coming in. But I could have intelligent lights. Now, everybody's going to say intelligent street lights, that's, we have these things. Um, they have light sensors. When it becomes nighttime, they turn on. So? But IoT is like a lot uh, more complicated than this. I'm going to have the lights talk to the cloud to see the weather forecast. So they're not going to only turn on at nighttime with a simple timer. They're going to also turn on if I have a sandstorm. Asifi, Rahish al is I can, um, it's cloudy. It's going to know that now it's cloudy and, it, and the lights are going to go on. I'm not going to only have motion sensors where, what, that can sense if a car is coming, so let's turn on the lights. No. But they can also talk to each other and say, there's a car that was, that was approaching this street with this speed. It's going to be in the next street after X seconds or minutes. Right? And they can even access traffic data that has been mined and analyzed to know exactly how they should turn on and off. Now you might say, okay, it's just a light, but usually the lights in the street, they have a warm-up period, so it's not good for them to turn on and off a lot. So they can predict. But uh, I also could have sensors and connectivity to the and the car itself. Now, a lot, most of the cars have sensors. Um, but what this would do, it would also communicate this information to your mechanic. Based on your um, patterns, and I'm going to work every day from 5 to 9, فبيحجز الميكانيكي يجي وقت أنا صافف السيارة أوكي فبيجي الميكانيكي وبيصلح وخلص the, the, the idea is that the, the, the devices are talking to each other more than just providing sensors okay. the same thing for washing machines every piece of clothing could have an ID uh, let's say um, uh, something that tells it that what it's made out of uh, this is made of cotton, or, or it has nylon in it. Um, 
the washing machine, I put, I put the, I don't know, a load of wash in it, and it can read all the IDs. And then it could download, based on these IDs, the correct program. So everything I put in it was, let's say, made out of cotton and it was white. Gamel download the برنامج محدد. ما بعرف الأبيض يمكن بده حرارة أعلى، أوكي؟ بده وقت معين. بيقدر أكثر من هيك. بيقدر يدرس بالخصوص بالمناطق اللي ما فيها مي كتير. By the way, this is all reality. هذا ما 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 هو المستقبل يعني هذا اللي حكيته كله موجود معروف. يعني بتخيل تسعين إذا مش تسعة وتسعين بالمية منكم بيعرفوا هذا الموضوع. So let me show you some examples of Samsung. The, uh, these examples من من 2016. There's something called Smart Things Extend. الفكرة إنه التلفزيون راح يصير هو IoT hub بسامسونج. Okay. It, it, th th these are these ideas were presented this year. Oh. They're not may, may might not be in the market. يعني ما بنبعوا لسه بس موجودين. فأنا بأخذ ال هال هالجهاز مثل ال USB راح أعمل connect عليه. وكل smart things in my home راح يتصلوا على التلفزيون والتلفزيون يحكي معهم هون يحكي مع التلفزيون فبيصير الهب او ال يس زي الهب تبع الوايرلس التلفزيون تبعي راح يكون الهب تبع الاي او تي. The real surprise was the family hub refrigerator براد من سامسونج عليه شاشه 21 ونص انش تابلت تاتش سكرين داخل البراد في كاميرا وطبعا متصل بالانترنت فانا مثلا رحت على السوبر ماركت بدي اتذكر عن حليب ولا لا من ماي موبايل اي اكسس ذا كاميرا انسايد ذا ريفريجريتور فبقدر اشوف تماما في شيء بالريفريجريتور عندي لازمني حليب يس اشتريته اوكي التابلت اولسو عليه كثير برامج بيقدر يشغل موسيقى موجوده على على اللوكال نتورك فيديو يعني صار هو اتس لايك ا فاميلي هاب بالمطبخ نفسه um, حتى في عليه مسجنج فانا بقدر ابعث مسج انه انا مثلا متاخر فعائلتي بتشوف انه انا راح اتاخر اليوم او الى اخره اوكي وات دو وي نيد تو اتشيف ذس اول ذس كايندز اوف اي او تي كديفلوبرز انتم كديفلوبرز فورا بيروح مخكم uh, شو شو بحتاج شو راح احتاج لحتى اقدر اوصل لهال لهالدرجه من الـ من التكامل بين الاجهزه. اول شيء لازم يكون سيمليس ديسكفري لما بدخل انا بجهاز جديد على البيت مفروض كل اجهزه البيت تتعرف عليه صح؟ يعني انا دخلت معي موبايل جديد وصلته على الوايرلس مباشره التلفزيون بيعرف انه هذا موبايل. طيب لازم فورا يعمل كونكشن ويحكي نفس اللغه. الترانزميشن لازم يكون سريع مثلا اوكي؟ سكيورتي ما بيصير اي حدا بيدخل على بيتي يقدر يعمل اكسس للبراد ويغير مثلا بالسيتنجز تاع التلفزيون يوقف الغساله الى اخره ما بيصير بعدين بدي داتا ديفايس مانجمنت بدي هي هذا الجهاز مسموح مثلا اجهزه الاطفال ما تقدر تتصل على التلفزيون الا بساعات محدده مثال اوكي سو وي نيد اول ذيس ثينجز ذيس ار ذا كومبلكسيتيز ذيس ار ذا لايك ذا ذا ديتيلز ذات وي ريلي نيد از ديفلوبرز الحكي هذاك لطيف بس حكي ماركتينج بس كديفلوبرز بتكون تفكروا بهدول الاشياء كيف بدي خلي انا الكونكشن تبعي سكيور كيف بدي اعمل ديفايس مانجمنت اوكي سو كهاردوير موجود الهاردوير سنسرز فيكم تشتروا سنسرز ب ب يعني بثمن بخس اوكي كونكتيفيتي الوايرلس 3G, 4G, كله موجود صار. Alright, so we have hardware, we have connectivity, we need the software to run this. Tizen is being marketed as the operating system of everything. OS كل شيء. بدي أنا operating system شغله على كل هال devices. بتعديلات بسيطة البرنامج اللي كان بيشتغل على الموبايل يشتغل على الwearable. بس في تعديلات لانه في سنسورز موجوده بالموبايل مش موجوده بالويربل، الشاشات مختلفه، اوكي؟ البرنامج اللي بيشتغل على الموبايل لازم يشتغل على البراد. الغساله لازم تحكي نفس اللغه اللي البراد عم بيحكي مشان اذا انا قاعد على التلفزيون يبعث لي نوتيفيكيشن السايكل خلصت. So we need this, we need an operating system like one operating system to rule them all. So 
What is Tizen? Tizen is an open, flexible operating system. The ba basic idea can um, all stakeholders of device and the communication uh, people, the device makers, uh, software, apps, um, يعني يكون عندهم operating system سهل عليهم يتعاملوا فيه ويشتغلوا عليه ويطوروه ويزيدوا عليه وإلى آخره. So um, the first thing Samsung did was make Tizen open source. So Tizen is an open source operating system. The source موجود كامل. If you can تعملوا download the source كامل تعملوا compile. You can use it. You can even modify the open uh, the operating system so it works on different kinds of devices okay tizen is cross category platform حالياً, tizen, like a base tizen base it's called tizen common it's not a profile وعنا الفكرة profiles فكرة profiles هي انه um, انا باخذ هذا common وبعدله يعني بشكل بسيط لحتى يقدر يشتغل على different kinds of devices. So راح اخذ مثلا البروفايل وعدله لحتى يشتغل على PC او على TV او داخل السيارة او على الويربلز. حاليا there's lots of different profiles. في عنا للموبايل في TV في IVI IVI هي اللي هي in vehicle infotainment infotainment um, وحتى للويربلز. التايزن بروفايلز موجودة للكل. وفي للكاميرا صار والبرنتر صار واشنج مشينز از اون ذا واي الريفريجريتور هاز بن دان نوت ان ذا ماركت يت بس اتس بن دان اوكي سو لايك اي سيد وي هاف تايز ان كومن اتس نوت ا بروفايل بس اتس يوزد از ا بيس افتر ذات وي هاف ذا اي في اي ويتش از اولموست 90% اوف ات از كومن وي هاف ذا ويربلز موبايل اند تي في اند ذن وي ايفن هاف ا مايكرو بروفايل فور اي او تي ديفايسز سبيشاليز اي او تي ديفايسز في بيلد للتايزن بيشتغل على الراسبيري باي حاليا فيكم تدخلوا على هذا على التايزن ويب سايت وتنزلوا البيلد خصوصي للراسبيري باي في عندنا بروجكت كمان اوبن سورس اسمه ايوتيفيتي ما بعرف اذا سامعين فيه ايوتيفيتي كان هو الفكره فيه انه نساوي لايبرري فيها شيرد كونسبتس للاي او تي اورايت جزء كبير من الايوتيفيتي كمان انتقل Uh, يعني عم بي, عم عم ينضاف للتايزن منتقل بس عم ينضاف للتايزن لحتى التايزن يقدر يكون عنده كل هال ال things like soft sensors uh, I think it's this yeah soft sensor management and notification management these are co common concepts things that we always need with IoT like I said Tizen is an open source project رح uh, تشوفوا all these uh, projects are also open source so it's based on open source the, the base of 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 Tizen is Linux okay The libraries we use, for example, for graphics, is Windows, Cairo, EFL, Afwan, X Windows, Cairo, and EFL, and UI, and so on. So every all these libraries are used. They're all open source. Mafishi, يعني that cannot be used or needs licensing or إلى آخره. Tizen also has a strong industry support. Uh, Tizen is not owned by Samsung. Samsung not owned by Tizen. Hatta fi competitors, LG, jizet min al Tizen uh, Association. Okay, Huawei, all right, uh, Orange, and so on. Uh, so the idea is that to make this really open source, the kill the shirikat, the kill the application developers, uh, communication vendors, or device vendors, is done. Okay. Tizen is also developer friendly. The main idea that they think about with Tizen is that we need an operating system that is fast. Why do we need it fast? Because we want to work on devices that have hardware capabilities. I can't put 8 GB RAM in my heart. I can't go... I don't know. I put lots of graphics power in a, in a, let's say, a wearable, a small watch. Uh, Bid Tizen run very smoothly على the smallest and cheapest of devices or most affordable devices. But command Bid Tizen friendly, right? In Tizen, we have two different ways of development. Uh, we can develop using C, and we can develop using HTML5 and JavaScript. Pure HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay. 
Um, the uh, Tizen uh, operating system has one of the highest scores in HTML5 test. If you go to HTML5 test on any browser, okay, for a moment, you can feature from HTML5 uh, this browser. For mobile browsers, Tizen is the highest. أعلى حتى من الاندرويد براوزر أعلى من الاي او اس براوزر بكثير أعلى من الويندوز فون براوزر الرقم هون 445 للتايزن زد 1 موبايل فون بس بالزد 3 اتس ايفن هاير بال 500 صار سو لايك دكتور هانغ ذا بريزيدنت اوف اس دي اس سامسونج اس دي اس سيد انلوكينج ذا فاليو اوف اي او تي از ان اميزنج اوبرتونيتي for all of us, as consumers, as businesses, and as societies. When we all work together, IoT can be in sync with real life. So this is like a really quick introduction for Tizen. I'm going to stop now for any questions, and then I'll go on.